There are many people who want to do Homa or Puja, but they do not understand that Homa and Puja cannot be done in group because the Homa and the Puja which is done in the group actually dissipates their energy so little it will not have an impact into a person's life. Let us try to understand what happens in the Homa or Puja when the Sankalpa is taken. When the Sankalpa is taken, the vortex gets formed, the divine light vortex and it gets connected to the Antakarna the divine cord and the energy flows into the all the chakra that is why in india when we do the puja or homa the sankalpa is taken where the individual name and the nakshatra is taken and the vortex get connected to the divine light of the person now if you do group homa group puja then the impact of the group homa and the group puja is not equally dispersed for example you take one laddu and give it to one person he has sufficient quantity and the quality of the laddu can be enjoyed by the person now what happens is if the same laddu is broken into pieces and distributed to many people then that much only the quantum of laddu is being got by people in the same way when you do homa in a group when the sankalpa is not taken properly when the divine cord is not getting connected there is not a huge downpouring of the energy which happens into a person's aura and chakra the second problem is now i have seen in many many places they do a group sankalpa the group sankalpa simply they recites the name of the people they are not worried whether the vortex opens up whether the connection with the card opens up across so in adesh we do not try to do group homam and group puja across as a person it does not work in fact if the family members four members are there the individual puja is got done across then there is a maximum benefit which comes to the person's life across but the priests are not clairvoyant they are not very psychic they cannot see the flow of energy so it is just a consumer brand and a demand and therefore people say you can do it for four people you can do it for five people so they do the puja and they have an across so please understand that the puja and the homam should be done individually to have a maximum impact into a person's life across that is how the puja and the homam will have a maximum impact for example it is not like going in a car where one person is a driver and the other two persons are going there to reach the destination no it is actually energy work the energy cannot be thinned down across the other problem with the group homam puja is many people gotras get mixed for example somebody can be shaiva gotra somebody can be vishnu gotra somebody can be parashura maharishi gotra somebody can be bharatwaja maharishi gotra all those gotras will get mixed so the impact is also very very minimal across so that is the problem when we do the homa or puja in a group in adesh we take the sankalpa we do it in individually even for devata the avagana is done individually and that is how it is been done across in adesh we endeavor to do the homam puja in a maximum uh, impactful manner the other problem is tilahoma is done in a group 
Tilahoma can never be done in a group because it is the connection of the lineage karma. The lineage karma has to be cleared individually across. It is not like you mix up all the lineage and you do it the way you want it and it will have an impact. No, it is not going to have an impact. So for commercial purpose, for business purpose, for the purpose of getting people into the hook of getting at least hundreds or thousands of rupees, Tilahoma is compromised by many, many people across. They simply put advertisement in YouTube and Google and then they say this has been done. Tilahoma has to be done by eight priests. That is how it should be done. And the entire Vamsa has to come out from all the Narakas. There are 28 hells. They have to come from all the Narakas. And the Homa has to be done for Pita, Pita Mahi, Pravita Mahi, Mata, Mata Mahi, Mata, Pravita Mahi. Now it should be done for the father, grandfather, great grandfather. And it should be done for mother, grandmother and great grandmother. Now this is not a procedure which is followed in a group homa because obviously many priests don't know there are 28 narakas which are available the other problem is even this pita pita mahi pravita mahi is not used simply they use burbo aswaha tatsa vitur varenyam bargo deva sadi mahi diyayona prajodayad it is not done that way it has to be done individually the gotra has to be recited the nakshatra has to be recited and we have to tell the soul that this souls or the group of the soul has to go. It is like a password. It is like an ID. It is like the address. The nakshatra, the gotra is the password and the ID which opens the spiritual cord and connects the person across. So doing the tilahoma in a manner which is like in a group it just does not work across so please understand that the tilahoma has to be done individually across and that is one of the biggest problem with the group kind trying to do it's like mixing up variety of lineages it's like in ivf the father yeah the lady egg is taken and somebody's womb is rented and that is thing across in the same way, all those people lineage karma will get mixed. So, to clear your ancestor, your ancestral energy, you need to do it individually across. So, please understand that Tilahoma has to be done for more than 4 hours. In many places, they do Tilahoma just half an hour, 45 minutes and that too, they do it in a group. Your ancestors is not going to come out of the Naraka the ancestors the energy will not be helpful across it is the lineage is has a blot I, for example I pour a blue ink I need sufficient amount of water to clean the white table in the same manner Tilahoma sufficient energy is required for the ancestors to go into the moksha when it is not followed when the precepts are not followed properly then the impact will have a problem across that is why many people come and say we did puja in kalahasti there is no impact we did homa in a particular place there is no impact because the sankalpa is not properly taken and the number of agutis are compromised and the name on the nakshatra is not chanted and the divine God is not open. We don't do that in Satya uh, in the Adesh.com. We tell people that it has to be done in a particular procedure and we have to do it across in that particular manner. So please understand, Tilahoma looks expensive because there is so much of work is done. If you want a proper impact, if you want your ancestors to come out of the different Narakas and bless you across, then this Mahale Amavasa give Homa individually. 
please do not give in a group don't believe that it is totally waste of time waste of your money across and just because you do go puja go puja is done for money go puja is not done for tilahoma that actually people who are uneducated people who have no idea about the ritual across they try to promote because they can get lot of money in the uh, festival season that is the reason why they do it so my humble request to all of you is do tilahoma do individually do puja individually do homa individually that is how it will have a maximum impact into the person's life across so please understand that the tilahoma has to be done individually to have a maximum impact thank you so much